This video is part two for framing, building the addition to the grain bin house. We are building a grain bin house with a big large addition so that we can rent it out as an Airbnb and have big families come and visit. So you might be thinking, why the great big addition? And that is why. This big addition is um, when we left off on part one, you only saw one part of that addition. And basically on this side where you're viewing, each one of these three sections is 10 feet a piece. And then when you go on to the front of that, the longer end, um, then they are 12 feet. So you've got a 30 by 24 foot addition. This is basically where the eating area will be, big long table to be able to see a good 12 people and a great big kitchen. Over here to the right of that is where a porch will go. It'll have concrete and that will be 30 feet long, 12 feet out. So that's the plan. You can see all of these braces that are holding it up um, because we've had a lot of wind coming through and um, for support, just to make sure everything won't blow away and it's nice and sturdy. You see all these extra supports, which obviously will eventually be taken off as it's built. It took just a few days to get the floor joists in. Carl did this all by himself. So that lost <laughs> the reason for the delay in our videos. But I just wanted to point out that you can see a piece of metal down here. He did use metal bracing underneath and that would give it extra support um, for the floor because it is a big room. As you're looking at some of these pictures, you may notice some of the discoloration and some of the wood. Um, I'm just trying to anticipate questions that for new people looking at this, we tore down a tree house that we had built and used a lot of the wood to come back into the house. And this is a kitchen area. These beams are going to be exposed and these posts and I'm, I think I'm just going to paint all of those black and go with that black and white look in the kitchen. But that's the plan right now. Now, I had to let you listen to this real quick. Um, I was coming up to visit one day and he was working. And I'm going to go ahead and play this video for you and then I'll tell you the story. Don't take a video of the gap in my plastic. <laughs> yeah. I came up, he had all of this pretty much done on the floor. And there was just a couple places he said, be careful when you're walking. And you know how you just start dreaming and walking around and imagining things. And that's kind of what I was doing. And I'm like, oh, there's, you know, there's flooring all over the place. I'm not going to step in any of it. And what did I do? I stepped right into one of the cavities where the insulation was, wasn't focusing. And it literally it was all the way at the end where it was like a three foot drop. So um, that wasn't wise. <laughs> so now I'm not allowed to go upstairs or anything. No, I'm kidding. Um, so anyway, that's the story. So I get teased about that. I know you're wondering, especially those of you that are new, what's going on inside the grain bin, because that's the cool part of all of this. And my previous videos show um, when that was built and all that information, you can go ahead and look at the playlist that's at the end of the video. It's also down in the description. But we are, like I said, on episode 20, so we're outside working on this. But let's take a quick tour, go in and see what that area is being used for. Um, there is a door going in there. This one here that you see is to the front door and we came in that round door coming from the back from the addition and he's using this as a work area. He's got his generator in here and all of the floor joists for the second floor are being cut in here. The second floor, if you can envision like a monitor type barn, that is the type of building that it's going to look like on the addition. And I've got a picture here that you can see to give you an idea of what that style looks like. Back outside you can see the foundation boards have been attached. You can use insulation panels, foundation insulation panels to do this. They're insulated or you can use concrete board. He uses concrete board. It can touch the earth. It can be put it inside the dirt and it, they will not mildew. So that's what you want to make sure you have something that's approved for being on the foundation and you can do it either way. Getting ready to put the floor joists into the second floor. You can see this right over the heading of the door that goes in there. Very quickly, I wanted to give you a tip about the OSB. We used OSB, like I told you earlier, we were trying to beat the rain, and he went ahead and sealed it with Thompson sealer. We didn't plan on doing that at first. The plan was just to put plastic over it, get it under roof. There wouldn't be a problem, you know, before winter, but there was a ton load of rain. I think it was during that hurricane uh, Helena that when she came in, um, there was just a lot and a couple boards had to be replaced. So he decided to go ahead and coat seal everything with that Thompson sealer. And that has helped a lot. Um, since then, everything just kind of beads up now. So that stuff works really well. 
This over here, you can see the entrance going into the grain bin over here to the left. This is going to be like a, um, a room with the water heater and the washer and dryer will be in there. We had planned on locking this door um, for renters, uh, that this will not be available for renters. Uh, that's our plan. Um, if we decide to, to let them use it, then obviously we can just keep the door unlocked. But as of now, the plan is just to keep it locked up and let the house cleaner come in and use that washer and dryer. I'm sure you're wondering what my role is in all of this besides coming out here and videotaping. I am the laborer, so I get to walk around and pick up the trash. Um, he tends to just wanna throw it and I come pick it up and that come, helps him save some time. And then I can come out and just kind of get an idea of what's going on. So that's my job and uh, I love it. This is going well, we're really enjoying it. Um, there is gonna be uh, part three and uh, the next little bit, I'll talk to you about where we've left off and what you can expect to see in the next video. Okay, we're going through the front door. This door will go into the kitchen area it's and dining barn. room. Going into the barn. The barn. And I have to be careful when I'm walking. These are stairs that are going to go upstairs. They just got installed today. Just We're going to paint them black. There you go. So to end our video, part two, there's the door to the front, um, ready for the front porch to be poured here. And I'll give you a final of where we're at and pull it all together for you. This is, again, the addition that we've been talking about. I'm walking in over here on the side. This is where the washer and dryer will go, water heater and stuff like that. And the last thing that he just finished today, there's a ladder to even get upstairs. The last thing that he just finished today is the stairway is installed. He was gonna just put it in and then we were gonna get it spray painted but now it looks like I'm doing it by hand, but you have this metal ladder and we're going to go up the ladder and get a top view. I'll be careful. Just, he just painted up here. Oh, this isn't too bad. That's easy. Oh, my head almost hit it. And there we go. This is upstairs. There's going to be a door coming from the grain bin and And in the next video, you will see that door will be cut out and they're, they're building this, the walls right now. They're trying to, and then they'll be setting those upstairs. So this is going to really come to life in part three. I hope you've enjoyed our journey so far. Don't forget to look at the playlist and you have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next video.